are doing, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So, we're playing today. After we just played on Thursday, after we played a DFB Pokal game on Thursday, we're already playing. After some of our players played on Wednesday for the national team, we're already playing today. We're already playing today. Okay, and with the exception of Kimmich, everyone is primed and ready to rock and to roll. Now let's talk about our opponents a little bit. I mean, the uh, for a relegation candidate, they've actually had a pretty good start to the Bundesliga season um, with one draw, one loss, and one win. So they have four points in total right now, uh, which, you know, for a relegation candidate is very, very good. You look at some of the other re relegation candidates, such as Schalke. They don't look that good at all. Um, so compared to them, they actually look very, very nice. They look very, very solid. And, you know, it's, obviously a season is not just a sprint. It's a marathon. But we will see how Amelia, how Amenia Bielefeld will do throughout the rest of this season. Okay. Um, but in terms of Bayern, as I said, besides King, besides Kim, yeah, I can't speak. Besides Kimmich. Everyone is going to be available. Kimmich won't be available for today, not because of an injury, but because his wife is expecting um, to birth their child any second. So that's why he won't be um, going with the team. That's why he will be staying in Munich um, just for the eventuality. So, hey, you know, wish him all the best. Um, besides that, though, the squad. Let's talk about the squad. The squad. Obviously, on first thing, we had the DFB Pokal against Duren. And in that game, we had you know significant amount of people, amount of players that aren't necessarily first team regulars that now um, have the opportunity to that had the opportunity to prove themselves and now have the opportunity to um, make a name for themselves if they get the minutes today. You know, like the likes of Mark Rocha, the likes of I mean I don't think he's gonna play, but Mark, uh, Nubel. Um, then you know further up front, the likes of Costa who has a good chance of playing. Then you also have um, the likes of Eric Maxim, Chuba Moteng. You also, whom, who am I missing? Uh, Newell, Mark Rocha, Sa. That's what I'm missing. Sa, who I think had a very good game. Uh, obviously, two assists. Um, could have probably had more, in all honesty. And obviously, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the strongest opponents, yes. But, like, he had two assists. Um, you know, showed his offensive qualities, and they've also got Maxim Chukmoteng, who also had who had two goals, also a very good debut. Uh, in terms of Lewandowski, though, Lewandowski is obviously the main striker. That's never going to change, you know. But um, Chukmoteng himself knows that. In his first press conference, he basically said that you know he knows that. Um, but Flick also very interesting said that you know, he doesn't mind. He wouldn't be against the idea of playing with two strikers up front. So I don't think we're going to do that. I think that's going to require a little bit more practice but it's just nice knowing that this option is a fault and it's available now Flick said two things uh first of all two things that i think are relevant first of all the likes of Lewandowski that played all, all that were with the national teams on say wednesday those players will be ready to rock and roll um so all the players basically that you expect to be able to have a chance to be in this game are available. The second thing, which I find very interesting, is that he sees Musiala more in the first team than in the second team, which I very much like, because the second team is playing today as well uh, at 1 p.m. UK time, um, which means, you know, you actually, the fun, the good part is that you will be able to watch the game for free on a DFB, they're on a DFB's official YouTube channel, they're actually showing a game, which I find brilliant, you know, they didn't used to. Uh, but uh, lately, they've been showing a lot of games on that channel, which I'm a massive, massive fan of, you know, because it just, it's it's brilliant, you know, it, it's brilliant. I, I can just like, yeah, record those games and then watch them back later. Although in this case, I am going to watch it live. You know, it's Again, it starts at 1 p.m. So it starts before our first team um, plays. But the good thing about it is the part, the part that I just said, which is that he sees Musiala more in the first team than in the second team. That's what Flick said. So that means that it's very unlikely that uh, Musiala will be part of the second team. And it's very likely that he will travel with the first team. If you look at his actual minutes this season, uh, he's played in five of the six games that we've had this season. He's been part of the team in some form, some capacity. Of course, a lot of the time it was him coming in in the last minute. But that just shows you that Musiala is definitely going to fight for a spot in that first team, which I very much am a fan of. Now, uh, in terms of like the other like the other uh, players, such as App, that's not the case. 
uh, Flick basically said that uh, uh, his home is in a second um, team. He basically needs to find a home there. And for a striker, you know, it's all about confidence. He needs to go there. He needs to play there. He needs to grab. He needs to get his confidence up, and then we'll see. Um, but as of right now, that's just the way it is. The same applies to ZXZ, although maybe not to the same extent. Show. Um, we are less than ten hours away from the game starting. I think it's going to be a fun game, honestly. Um, again, Arminia Bielefeld, I, I, I can't say that name. Arminia Bielefeld uh, are not a bad opponent. They are obviously one of the lower ranked opponents. You know, the one that people, I think myself, I I think I put them at 16 for my Bundesliga preview uh, prediction. Uh, I think I put them at 16th place. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's where I put them roughly around about. Uh, but they're doing well so far. They're doing, <clears throat> ah, they're doing well so far. Uh, <clears throat> so from that, from that perspective, you know, you really want to see how they progress, um, how they continue the season. Besides the game today, of course. And the, the game today, I want them to get beaten. Besides that, though, it's going to be very interesting to follow their journey in the Bundesliga and see how well they do or how well they don't do. Um, they're clearly worst teams in the Bundesliga. One of them we've already faced in Schalke. Uh, so we will actually see how Bielefeld will do in the game against Bayern. I still think it's going to be a very... I think it's going to be a much more difficult game than I think some people might expect. But I still think it's going to be a very one-sided result. Uh, the reason why I think it's going to be a much more difficult game is because obviously the players, they haven't had that much time to rest. Obviously we have so many players that play for the national teams, that they, they are, are a star for the national teams or train with their national team that literally just came back that like we don't have the capacity to rest and i think that's really going to take its toll but i think the season is still relatively young and yes we didn't have the longest of breaks you know between the end of the uh champions league and the beginning of the bundesliga but we still had a little bit of a rest all right it might, it's essentially the equivalent of a winter break uh maybe not quite but it, it might as well be the same equivalent all right that's basically how you have to look at it um so from that perspective, I do fully expect the tired legs to affect us, but I don't think we're at that stage of the season already where it would be a um, where it would affect us that tremendously. So from that perspective, I do think you know the first maybe ten minutes might be difficult, um, but then we're gonna find into the game, find our rhythm, find you know start playing our football. And then uh, it's just going to be a one-way street until like the 70th, 80th minute. And that's when we're going to be like, okay, let's just control the game um, and then move on from there. So my perspective is this. I expect us to win. I expect us to win 3-0. That's it. 3 nil. Let me know what you all think. What is your prediction, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think uh, we all win? Uh, I would assume most people on this channel would say so. First of all, most of you are probably Bayern fans, you know concerning the nature of this channel but also most of you will probably be like i mean Bielefeld, never heard of them uh so Bayern will win you know so let me know what you all think um besides that though i will be seeing all of you in the next one uh th this this month is going to be absolutely crazy next month is going to be absolutely crazy with all the games that are coming up with all the games that are happening my thing uh my legends ranking will also come out I, I, the plan was this week it, it won't be this week um, a lot of a lot of factors. One of them is I'm not feeling all that well, so I don't want to like write a script. And it's one of those videos that I am going to write a script. I think the first video ever I'm going to write a script for because well, first video series I'm ever going to write a script for. So because I want this to be like the one video of my channel. Everything else I don't really care. Everything else I record, I'm like I I, sp I say whatever I want to, right? Whatever. But like I want my legend ranking because I'm going into so much research detail and so on and so forth. I actually want to write a script to make it as professional as possible. That will be the one series on this channel where effort will be put. <laughs> where effort and not just me speaking, which is, has always been the the plan of this channel, just me speaking. But like that that will be like the one series on this channel where I'm actually gonna be like okay. I'm writing a script, and we're not just one script, we're writing multiple scripts, we're looking at all the statistics, we're looking at all the data, I might hire an editor just to make it as fancy as possible, and um, we'll kind of move on from there. So it's going to take me a lot longer, I thought I could like do it myself, but like the, the product just kind of grows in scale, it just kind of grows in um, the ambition that I have for it, so that's kind of what we're going to be doing. 
Um, so yeah, I will be seeing all of you in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye.